Welcome to the NIMAT video tutorial series on the Map Browser. My name is Brendan and I'm part of the product team based here in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to shift your perspective with NIMAP obliques. We'll learn the height tool, the width tool and the 3D line tool. Let's get you on the roof without leaving the office. Welcome to the Australian War Memorial located in Canberra. Since its opening in 1941, the building has been extended upon to include a shrine, a world-class museum and an extensive archive. The War Memorial will work perfectly to demonstrate the use of near map obliques. Our oblique photos allow customers direct access to our source photos. These images are usually captured at 45 degrees and will give our users a unique perspective on the world around us. These images also allow our customers access to the 3D measurement tools, such as height, width, 3D line and area. We'll start off by looking at the height tool. We'll measure the height of one of the Roll of Honor buildings. You can start by dropping a pin on the location of interest. You will then see the location information pop up. If oblique photos are available, you will see the option for View Oblique Photos. Once clicked, this will load the source photos for the location. You can see that I've defaulted to the North Cardinal direction. You can easily change this in the drop down menu to another perspective. Once you have selected an appropriate photo, select the height tool at the top of the page. As always, remember the closer you zoom in, the more accurately you'll place your measurement. Let's zoom into the base of the structure and place the first point. You will notice that it is locked vertically to help you make more accurate height measurements. Let's place the second point at the height of the building. Double click to close the line. This will then clearly show you the measured height. Let's move on to the width tool. This tool is very similar to the height tool. Let's measure the width of this structure. You will note that the width tool does not lock down horizontally, so you need to be careful to place as accurate a line as possible. As always, double click to close that off. The last two tools are very similar to each other. These are the 3D line and 3D area tools. Let's return to vertical imagery to find a good building to measure. You can do this by clicking on the middle of the compass at the bottom of the screen. I think we'll head to the north and great, this looks like a good building. Let's jump back into obliques. Remember, click on the map to drop the pin to get the option for oblique imagery. Let's start with a 3D line tool. I want to measure the hip of this roof. Remember to zoom in for more accurate measurements. You can, as always, double click to close the line off. Once you have placed the first line, you will need to align this onto the object within a different perspective. This allows us to place the line in 3D space so that we can perform measurements with it. To do this, click next on the option. You'll notice that my perspective changed to the east view. Now I need to realign the points on the hip of the roof. I'll place them as close as possible to the original points. Once done, you will see that I have a valid pitch and length measurement for my line. The last tool is the 3D area tool. Let's measure this face of the roof. Remember to zoom in for accuracy and to double click to close off the area. I need to click next so that I can realign the points from an east perspective. Once complete, I now have a pitch, area and perimeter measurement available. I hope that this has been helpful for you. For more information, check out our documentation site. Thanks for watching.